Now, nearly 7 million adults in the U.S. live with plaque psoriasis. Much misinformation exists about the disease. Joining us today is dermatologist Dr. James Song and Margie, an avid gardener from Wisconsin who lives with plaque psoriasis. Thank you so much to the both of you for being here today. Now, Dr. Song, let's back up a little bit. What exactly is plaque psoriasis and what are its symptoms? Plaque psoriasis is an autoimmune condition that leads to chronic inflammation in the skin. And it can affect areas like the scalp, the elbows, the knees, but also the skin folds and nails. We know that psoriasis can range in symptoms from itching to burning and even soreness, especially when your skin starts to crack and bleed, as we often see on the hands and feet. And psoriasis can affect really any age group as well as any skin color. And so if you are more kind of fairly complected, psoriasis can appear more light pink to red and a little bit scaly. Whereas if you have more uh, color in your skin, it could look more purplish gray or even brown. And for many of our patients, winter is a tough time because psoriasis can flare due to the colder and drier temperatures as well as the lack of sunlight. Now Margie, as someone living with plaque psoriasis, how has the disease impacted your daily life? Plaque psoriasis doesn't feel good. I have, I've had plaque psoriasis now for four years, and it's primarily on my um, palms, the palms of my hands, and on my, the tops of my hands. Um, this affects what I love doing, which is cooking and baking. I have to now do those things with gloves on. I use a latex exam glove and come spring I will be out in the garden more and I will have to have my gardening gloves on full time Does, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a big or a small job but I have to have those on to protect my skin but I think the worst part of having psoriasis is meeting and greeting new people and shaking hands because I am fully aware that the palms of my hands are, uh, are drier and have a flaking skin on them. And when you offer your hand for someone to shake, they can feel that. And it's rather embarrassing. And Dr. Song, what is the cause of plaque psoriasis? I'm, and what are some of the common misconceptions, I should say, about it? So th there's a lot of misconceptions about psoriasis, and which is why Margie and I are here on behalf of Amgen, because we want to raise awareness and dispel some of these misconceptions. But first and foremost, psoriasis is not an infection. It's not contagious. You can't spread it. It's due to an overactive immune system in patients who have the genes for psoriasis. And there's something in the environment that turns those genes on and make your immune system get overactivated. And that leads to chronic inflammation, which then leads to your skin cells growing much more rapidly than they should. So normally you should take about a month for your skin to grow. In psoriasis though, that can happen within a couple of days. How can people with plaque psoriasis manage their symptoms, especially in the winter? A lot of patients are starting off with some type of topical therapy, whether that's a cream or an ointment. And sometimes they can help with the temporary symptoms of psoriasis, but they're not actually getting at a root cause of that inflammation. And not to mention topicals can be hard to use because they're greasy and messy and you have to be consistent with them. And so if you have psoriasis and you feel like your, your topical therapies are not enough to address your symptoms, I would encourage you to speak with your dermatologist and see if an oral option might be right for you. And where can we go to learn more? So I would recommend going to www.theletterp something different all one word dot com. There's some additional information on psoriasis as well as treatment options for everyone. Thank you to both of you for being here today. We appreciate it.